So in Code Vlogs Devlog 8, I talked about how I was playing around with Unreal and I had a few games in mind. And I said in this video that if it got at least 20 likes, I would make a video talking about the game extended stay as it exists in my mind. And lo and behold, the video got 22 likes. One from me. It counts, I think. But anyway, I guess I'm obligated to make a video about extended stay, the game. I should start out by saying that this idea is not really fleshed out. I've talked about it to one friend, I've thought about it a lot, but I've never, I haven't like fully designed it. But here's what I have in mind, here's what I think would be really fun, this is all just based off of something that I would like to play and I don't think is entirely out there, although pieces of it are out there because naturally this kind of uh, accumulates, that's accumulates? I don't know. One of those words, a bunch of games that I like and kind of puts it into a new setting. So I'm going to reference a lot of other games and mention mechanics in those games that I think would be really fun in this type of game. So I play a good bit of this game called Seven Days to Die and I've done a few series on my gaming channel about it and I really like it. It's really fun. So in this series, I just basically tried to survive in a wasteland. And this is a voxel game. And I think voxel games are really fun in general. So that's something I would want in this type of game. Just having a destructible world and something you can like, you know, even if you don't want to, you know, dig tunnels everywhere because it would take forever, you know that you could if you wanted to. And that sort of thing is really cool to know you can do in a game. So naturally, that's got to come over. Uh, of course, this is... I bring up Seven Days to Die rather than Minecraft, although, of course, Minecraft is very similar. Because, uh, well, I would also... I think the setting of this game I'm talking about would work way better in a more real world. Not, not a cartoony Minecraft-type voxel game. So, I'm thinking of a system that, uh, not exactly like theirs, but on Seven Days to Die, but inspired, for sure. I hear you. That doesn't tell us crap. I know. I realize it doesn't. Alright, well, okay, think Seven Days to Die, but instead of zombies, you have something that's staying a little too long. Aliens. Hence, extended stay. So... The starting point would be something like either you start out with full civilization and something happens very quickly, like most people get abducted and there's only a few left or something like that, but you could put it in a PvP open world and occasionally these aliens would show up and try to abduct people and maybe it takes them hundreds, even thousands of years to complete their abductions and they're kind of just like harvesting slowly. So they just show up every once in a while and like raid and you gotta survive that when they do show up so it gives it kind of a clock of okay I got a few days before I know they're gonna show up again and be wanting us for whatever the heck they do with us and then it could go anywhere from there like are they abducting people and who knows eating them turning them into something else are they taking them somewhere else and making a new civilization or a new colony on another planet with humans who knows the, the possibilities are endless but really it would be about the struggle of the people who are still on the world and trying to like find a way to have the humans win over the aliens. And this whole idea comes from a game I loved when I was a kid that I played in the 90s a lot. And that game is XCOM. This is a, a rebuild of it called Open XCOM that fixes a bunch of bugs and adds a bunch of improvements. But the original XCOM, I believe it came out in 1995, this game was a fight for the world to win in the against the aliens who were trying to i don't know what they were doing take over the world basically so this would be similar in that fashion just open world survival xcom so you could think of meshing the two and i don't want people to confuse this with the old, the newer xcoms the newer xcoms but they don't have anywhere close to like the worldly feel of xcom UFO defense like your planets actually die like those 
the new ones just feel fun and like you're going on an adventure basically the old one this old 1995 one it was a survival game and it was it's fun it's very hard maybe i'll do a let's play of it sometime i think it got my programmer mind kind of tuned right at a very early age because i was playing this when i was like i don't even know i want to say like nine or ten or something and do i have a game going on no i don't well maybe i'll start a quick one Alien defense base. Okay, so you have a world, you make a base, and I can't. I don't know if I can. If I full screen this, I think it's gonna mess up the recording. So, and you know, you have all your base management, and you have soldiers. You go on little missions. You shoot down uh, ships, and you research their technology. And after a long, long, long time of playing this and surviving. Well, the aliens get harder over time, and you find more of them, and it just gets crazier, and there's just more stuff. When you say, when you think you've seen everything in this game, more stuff happens that you're like, whoa, man, this is detailed. Like, when you do research, there's not much to start, but once you start picking up alien items, uh, you can research them. Just like, so much detail goes into this stuff. It's crazy. Uh, UFOpedia here. So... For every item in the game, there are details on it, and some things just have write-ups on them, like the alien bodies. They don't have any stats, but when you research an alien, you find out a bunch about it, and you learn sometimes its weaknesses and stuff. And if you can capture live aliens, you can learn about what ones of that rank do and learn even more about them. And that actually ends up being spoiler alert on how to beat this game that ends up being how you beat this game because as a kid i spent so many hours doing all this because it was so interesting and eventually you research some of the highest commander rank uh aliens and you learn of their origins and where their planet is and you go to their planet and you kill them and that's how you win. You go to their ba their own base and kill them. But along the way, so much... Oh, it's amazing. Like, okay, the aliens will end up making base stations in the world at some point. And you got to go to those bases that they're setting up on your world and raid them and take them out. And they keep happening. They overwhelm you. This game is difficult. Very difficult. Um, and it's so hard to beat. It really, really inspired me. It's also not... For the faint of heart, like, you need a lot of patience to play this game and beat it. This game, it's a very slow grind. It's like, it's like putting together a puzzle. I would want my game to have that kind of same feel. But also, those are the main ideas. There's a lot more little stuff here and there that I've thought about. And obviously I want to come up with my own unique take on all this. I don't want to copy, but... Those are like the two main inspirations that were in my head when I originally thought of this.